Farmer Nicole here at Circle C Farm in South Florida. I am actually standing out in the back portion of one of our pastures and I am bringing to you in the sunset. I hope you can see behind me a little bit. Manny's over on the tractor. He is tilling up a portion of one of our pastures that has been kind of a mess and so we wanted to add some additional grazing space so we're tilling that up and preparing that. As you all know we don't use any fertilizers or any chemicals on the property so once he gets done doing that, then we will run the big old monster manure spreader that we have and we'll stick that behind the tractor. And then in the process, what we'll do is we'll take the manure and we'll spread it out in a particular quantity so that it doesn't burn the grass or anything that's down on the ground now, but it will actually help stimulate and fertilize grass growth for later. So it'll be a few weeks before we get some emerald green grass, but it is the step in the direction, so I wanted to share with you what we have going on here. I also wanted to give you an opportunity to see some things that are happening on the farm that you might not have seen before. And also to continue to share and illuminate the fact that farming is 24-7, 365. And um, if you don't have a passion for it, then it becomes incredibly, incredibly exhausting. Even with the passion, it's still exhausting, but it's also important for you to see what happens kind of behind the scenes, not just um, what's happening in the pastures when I go out to do a video and talk about the ducks or the laying hens or the broiler chickens. And so this is kind of an insight into how do you plan and prepare? What do you have to do? How far ahead? I mean, we have to plan months and months ahead because if we don't, then the spaces that we are working on won't have um, the grass that we need for the rotation and since we're kind of in the middle of what we consider our winter which is a little bit different than the rest of the country because for example we're actually going to be 85 degrees again tomorrow which is insane for the end of January beginning of February um, it makes it more functional I guess in some ways to get some things done but at the same time um, the soil doesn't get that down time that it would normally have on that season of winter as much as maybe it needs to and it kind of confuses the grasses and the growth cycles but okay we'll work with it because that's agriculture and that's what we do but um but yeah so this is us planning and preparing ahead and it's going to get a little bit more noisy because between the tractor and the rototiller um he's off doing his thing but um and then i've got the guardian dogs that are laying around me fellas hanging out and I'm gonna to walk to the next pasture because I'm gonna do some gate checks while he's on the tractor. So, hope you enjoyed that. This is Farmer Nicole and Farmer Manny in the tractor and we're just hanging out here at the farm working. And so, um, wanted to share that with you. So, have a good rest of your day wherever you are and thank you for watching and being part of the Circle C Farm family.